हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल टॉक अबाउट एस्टिमेटिंग द चेंज इन द फंक्शन इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ सम यूनिट वेक्टर एंड स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज टॉपिक वी विल टॉक अबाउट द आइडियाज ऑफ डायरेक्शनल डेरिवेटिव एंड ग्रेडियंट्स एंड वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन यूज दीज आइडियाज फॉर एस्टिमेटिंग द चेंज इन द फंक्शन नाउ स्टूडेंट्स द स्टेटमेंट इज दैट टू एस्टिमेट द चेंज इन द वैल्यू ऑफ अ डिफ्रेंशिएबल फंक्शन means we have a function whose derivative exists means our function is differentiable one okay and uh, we want to find the or we want to estimate the change in it okay and uh, when the change will occur when we move a smaller distance ds from a point p not in the particular direction of the unit vector for example here we have a point u not and we want to find the estimate in the direction of some unit vector Uh, suppose this is the direction of a unit vector and we want to find that change in our function when we move along this line okay and students is formula is given by uh, df is equals to means the change in function is represented by df and it is equals to the gradient of our function at the point p not with dot product with the unit vector into ds and ds you know our uh, smaller distance and this is the formula that we can use to estimate the change in our function now students uh, let us look at uh, look at a particular example and see how we can find the or we can estimate the change in our function <clears throat> sorry uh, students uh, here is an example uh, that says estimate how much the value of our function uh, this is our function will change if the point moves 0.1 units from p not straight towards p1 means uh, if our, if we have a point and it moves from the point p not to p1 and it moves a 0.1 unit then we want to estimate the change in our function now students we know our formula and this is the statement but students you know here we need a unit vector but here we are not given any unit vector but you know we are given two points so if we find the distance between them then we can easily estimate the vector and after that we can estimate or we can find the unit vector now students as you know that v vector uh, would be given by p not p1 vector means this it is basically the distance means we have to subtract this value from this this value from this and uh, in the similar way we can find all the uh, other one means um, we will get v vector is equals to 2i vector plus j vector minus 2k vector okay but student this is only a vector when we want to find the value of a unit vector then we will divide the vector with its magnitude and uh, you know um, this is our vector that we have already find and we find its magnitude as this one and if i simplify it further then i will get this one and this is the unit vector now students uh, you know in this formula we need we also need to find gradient of f at the point p not now students <clears throat> our function is f of x y z is equals to y sin of x plus 2 y of z now students the gradient of f is given by gradient of f is equals to gradient of this function means y sin of x plus 2 y z okay and uh, students if you don't know that how we can find the gradient of a function then you can search it on my previous videos okay uh, here i will just write down the result when we will find its gradient then students we will get uh, y cos x i vector means first of all we will take its partial derivative with respect to x uh, so this term would be uh, would be treated as a constant and uh, um, that partial derivative of it would be equal to 0 because we know the derivative of a constant is 0 and uh, the partial derivative of sin x would be cos x and why as it is because it is a constant and we can plug it out common from the partial derivative and in the similar way when we take its partial derivative with respect to y then we will get a uh, sin x plus 2z times j vector plus into partial derivative of this function with respect to z and then we will get a uh, 2y times k vector okay now students the gradient of f at the point p not uh, the point p not is uh, the one 
the point p naught is the one that is already given here okay uh, so students if you substitute this point uh, in this value then the uh, resulting vector that you will get is i vector plus 0 times j vector plus 2 into k vector now students if you look at the formula then we need to take the dot product of uh, this gradient function at the point p naught with the unit vector so now we will take its dot product means the partial derivative of function at the point p naught times u vector means u unit vector and uh, the unit vector is basically equals to first of all this vector means i vector plus 0 times j vector plus 2 k vector and uh, dot product with 2 by 3 times i vector plus 1 by 3 times j vector and minus 2 by 3 times k vector okay now after taking its dot product we will get 2 by 3 minus 4 by 3 and if we simplify it further then we will get minus 2 by 3 okay you know uh, when we take the dot product then we uh, multiply uh, i vector with 2 by 3 i vector and i dot i is equals to 1 and 2 by 3 into 1 is equals to uh, 2 by 3 and uh, you know when 0 would be multiplied with 1 by 3 then it would, would become equal to 0 then there is no need to write it down okay so the gradient of our function at the point p naught times u unit vector is basically equals to minus 2 by 3 okay now students uh, from the equation number one we know that if we want to find the uh, df then it is equals to the gradient of f at point p naught times u vector and that is equals to negative 2 by 3 times ds and ds is already given here i mean 0 0.1 unit okay 0 0.1 unit and this is basically ds now students if you uh, simply fight further and calculate it then its value would become equal to minus 0 0.067 units and this is the rate of change of our function uh, when our uh, point moves from the point p naught to p1 and it moves 0 0.1 units then our function changes with this amount okay students uh, now students this is all about today's lecture in which i have discussed uh, how we can estimate the change in our function in the direction of our unit vector and we have seen here that um, how we can use the ideas of directional derivatives and gradients uh, student this is all about today's lecture and uh, see you next time thank you so much